Uh, so, Professor Michael Neal, um, so my name there, I guess. Uh, I'm a professor at Adrian College. Um, I, I'm a rank of assistant professor. I started teaching at Adrian College back in 2015. Um, in the film industry specifically, a lot of the work that I did was for my production company, Corked Media. Um, outside of film, I did a lot of video production um, locally, small business, um, nonprofits. Ended up um, getting contracted to work for the state of Michigan as well, which led to me creating my own feature length films as well under my company's umbrella, uh, of which I've produced two feature length documentaries with Corked Media. Um, I also spent time working in a marketing office, um, just doing video production, um, which led to uh, me creating ACTV here on campus. So I've done a variety of video production uh, while mixing in film, um, documentary filmmaking throughout that process. Uh, my first uh, feature length documentary was called, uh, or is called, Bud Fowler and the Page Fence Giants. Uh, I was very fortunate to just come across the story of Bud Fowler while in grad school. I had been doing some work related to the history of, of Adrian and um, found out about Bud Fowler, this incredible uh, baseball story and had played college baseball and been a big fan of the sport and a bit of a historian of the sport. So I thought it was a great opportunity to create my first film and uh, in connection with Tiffin University, the school I was at at the time, um, which led to a couple of years later, my second feature length film, which was called Without Wax, A Story of True Evil. Similarly, I had found myself connected to a local story. In this case, it was a much more somber story of three boys who went missing from Lenaway County. And I was fortunate enough to start a relationship with the, the family uh, of the missing boys and got their blessing to tell the story and have their participation in the production. And it was a, it was a different but equally rewarding experience to um, have an impact uh, on this local community, for sure. Uh, well, I wanted to teach for one thing and after having started my company and starting to kind of add to my video production experience, uh, an opportunity to adjunct came up in 2015, so part-time teaching, um, just video production courses. And through that process, I realized it's something that I enjoy doing. Um, it creates a lot of additional video production opportunities. So I've worked and collaborated with some of my students and former students. Um, so eventually, uh, in the fall of 2018, uh, I had the opportunity to begin teaching full-time within the communication department, uh, which yeah, it was something that I jumped right on. Think about that for a second. Roadblocks and challenges that I faced. So I'd say two things. Um, as far as roadblocks or challenges that I faced, um, when it comes to, I'll, I'll focus on kind of filmmaking in particular, it's two things. One, it's expensive. Um, it can be very lucrative, um, but it's also something that you need to invest in yourself. Um, the second would be recognizing the importance of passion. So I mentioned I have created two feature length documentaries. I, I've done several short projects as well, um, but I've also written probably now close to 15 films, but only have made two of those because you need to have that level of passion for the project you're going to undertake because it's going to monopolize one, two, or maybe even three years of your life. Yeah, I just wish I had, so if I, if I was giving advice to somebody who um, is just kind of embarking on a video production filmmaking career, I would tell them to just start as early as possible. We get handcuffed and anxious about wanting to emulate what we've seen on TV or on the internet and, and feeling as if we're inadequate if our work isn't that good right away. But it'll get there only if you're willing to start here. And the earlier you start here, the sooner you'll get here. Um, so don't be anxious or, or, or scared that you're unsure or, or something is new to you. Throw yourselves to the wolves, so to speak, because you will be internally grateful that you had those experiences to learn from um, as you continue to grow within the industry.